Well, you know, Dion came to me and told me he had an opportunity um, for me to star in a movie, uh, Meet the Blacks. And I said, that would be great, you know? I w that would be great. Can I get the script? I got the script and I read it. I said, I, li I really like this, Dion, you know? Um, he said, uh, you know, and it, this could also be, also be something that you could executive produce as well. I said, well, that's, that's cool. Um, um, it was the type of movie to me I've been doing these type of movies for so long, uh, variety movies and uh, all about the Benjamins. I said, you know, for me to do a movie like this and me starring it would be absolutely great for me. You know, I've been making all these other people rich and making their movies great. I said, hey, man, you know, it's time for me to do a little something for myself. So um, the cast, some of the ideas that Dion had for casting was really, really great. Meet the Blacks definitely set up for a franchise. Um, the way the movie is, the way the movie was shot, is definitely uh, uh, room for more actors, more entertainers. I mean, a movie like this, you can put just about anybody in it because it's a spoof movie. Uh, and when you hear a knock on the door, you can open up the door, it could be anybody. It could be your mom, it could be, yeah, yeah, you know. So it's one of those type of movies that it has a, it has legs. And I think it, it, could, it could stand on its own for a while. Carl Black is somebody I know. Carl Black is somebody you know. Carl Black is a guy that's, you know, wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth, but, uh, when he gets an opportunity, he goes for it. I think we all know characters like Carl Black. We love characters like Carl Black. And um, to see him with his family and to see him with all these different other genres of people, these different races, I think it's good. I think, I think we're going to be speaking the volumes with it. A lot of these guys haven't had opportunities. Little Duval hasn't had an opportunity. We've seen Gary Owens in a lot of Ice Cube, Kevin Hart movies, but I mean, King Batch is new. Brisha Webb is new. Uh, Zule's new. It was good to bring a lot of new flavor to Hollywood because, you know, as we know, Hollywood, they rerun the same people over and over. So to give Hollywood a fresh look, New opportunity was really cool. You know, I think in a movie like this, you, you know, everybody's not able to be funny. You know, you have to have, uh, you have to have some glue somewhere, and uh, she brings the the beauty to it. She brings the the you know that female uh, structure to it. Um, and she did a great job. I really enjoyed working with Zula. She was really, really funny. She was cool. And uh, she made us look good. Well, working with Mike Tyson definitely was cool because Mike Tyson is funny. Mike Tyson is real. And Mike Tyson is one of them guys that uh, he gets comedy, believe it or not. You know, when you hear Mike Tyson, you think, actor, oh, but I've worked with Mike Tyson in the movie The Hangover before, and I watched him go from, hey, what's up, to really doing it, you know? His characters are authentic, so when you see him, you, you know what you get, you know? Um, to work with Tiny, T.I.'s wife was really cool. Charlie Murphy, definitely funny. Um, I think these cameos is a nice dressing for the salad. I mean, I think this movie is right on time. You know, this movie right now, we got a, a lot of racial issues going on in America. And um, 
It's a rough time in the world. So I think this movie is a mirror. And what better thing to do but laugh at it? You know, let's laugh at it. Let's crack a joke. Let's bring some humor to it. I just hope the world gets a little better, you know, and this film here is, it's got a, it's got a lot of stuff in it, you know, it's got a really, really cool underlying message throughout the film about racism and about hate and love and, you know, it's a cool combination.